Yes, my people, welcome. My name is Kizo, and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. First of all, let me say, hey, it's been a journey. It's been a journey and a half. I've had this idea for almost two to three years now, but your boy was chicken. I don't have the guts to start. But then I just woke up today and I thought, hey, it is what it is. What, what does the boy have to lose? Nothing. I mean, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But anyway, welcome to the first episode of the first show. This is Unburdened. Now, what is Unburdened? Unburdened is my public personal diary. Well, I'm about to share my experiences in this life with you guys. And if it's anything you can relate to, I mean, this is the platform. Drop it in the comment section. Guys, this is something to enjoy. So do like, do share, do comment. Let's get the boy to... I'm not ambitious. I'm not ambitious. I just want 50 likes. So if I get 50 likes, hey, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, without wasting any more of your time, let's get into this. Hit the intro. It's like paradise. It's like paradise. Do you got dividends, key? You won't see a difference, key. Nobody rhyme like me. I feel like B.I.G. She lost the faith in me. I got the soul in me. I'm in my own damn league. I'm in my own damn. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, never mind. Uh, what you do? So guys, welcome back. So I thought for the first episode, it would be nice. It would be good. It would be a perfect idea if I start with a young introduction for my people. Yeah. So today I'm going to be answering questions from Bright for me. Hopefully you will enjoy this. So sit, relax. And if you have any comments, do drop them. If you like the show, do hit me up. You understand? I would like to hear feedback guys, positive or negative. I appreciate everything. Yeah. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into this. Question number one, why are you passionate about what you do? Right? Ha, ah, right. So why am I passionate about what I do? Now I'm going to answer or try and answer this question in two parts, right? I'm going to try and answer it in two parts. I'm going to try and answer it in terms of academics. And then I'm going to try and answer it also in terms of hobbies. Yeah. Hobbies like my newly found hobby, YouTube. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, academics, right? Why am I passionate about what I'm doing in academics, right? Uh, for undergraduate, I did international trade and then I did finance. Now, why I was so uh, interested in finance, um, I wanted to study uh what you call i wanted to study credit finance you know so that i can work in the central bank following my parents my mother's footsteps per se you know she has been the role model she has been my guideline you know she has been the template of my life what i do what i can do what i can't do so one of the passions that i had was to work to be the better version of her if i may say that right so i was trying to live my life or i'm trying to live the best life that I can to get my parents proud, you know what I'm saying, in terms of academics. So credit finance was one of the things that I really had passion for, especially loans, like how do people calculate loans, like how much interest rate, who to give loans to, what are the factors that you're taking into account when you're doing that, especially in Africa, where loans are really needed for SMEs, small businesses, you know what I'm saying. So I wanted to know why is it that some people get it and some don't? And what's the criteria in assessing those? Hence, I studied uh, credit finance. So in terms of academics, that's my main reason. My parents, my mother, number one, specifically my parents. And also uh, curiosity. Curiosity, you know what I'm saying? Curiosity kills the cat. Curiosity kills the cat. But this cat is still alive. This cat is still alive. This cat is still alive. And then uh, biography, right? For videography, I've, I felt it's, it's, it's more of a creative space. It's more of a creative space. It gives me the opportunity to express myself, my feelings, what I'm feeling in the moment, and any other thing that uh, I think uh, is affecting the boy. 
in the space i get to express it in terms of videography and uh most importantly it it only gets harder you get it. from what you know you get to know more and you have to master that skill and you have to also find a way to identify yourself through your videography you understand you need you need a way to identify yourself through your videography so that's also something that's that's uh really intriguing in terms of videography and all of those things hence it's always passionate because it's always challenging me to do more while expressing myself it creates um a platform for me to 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 express myself so that's why i i i i'm passionate about videography in terms of videography that's really my main reason why i i i, I dig it so much you get i'm doing so well yeah question number two Guys, I'm so excited. I'm beaming with energy. I'm beaming with energy. I've been dying to do this and I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing it. So, hey, hey, I mean, yes, 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 yes. Where do you see yourself in five years? Man, this is, this is an interview question. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chizo, where, where do you see yourself in the next five years to come? Uh, do you see yourself in our company? You know, like, it's such an interview question, but it's a very profound question, especially for us as, as, as the youth. Where do I see myself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? Now, I'm, 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 I'm a believer in short-term planning, right? Right now, I'm, I'm trying to complete my, my, my PhD. So hopefully that's the first thing that I get done in these five years complete my phd after completing my phd um i move forward to the workspace you know what i'm saying in five years i want to have a place that i can call my own you understand i want to have a place that i can call my own i want to own a house in the next five years that's my five-year goal to own a house you know so that i can have my own personal space and then I don't know. I think in two years after the five years, in two years after the five years, I would really love to retire my parents. That's something that has been, it has been an itch I'm, I'm dying to scratch, you know. From when I was young, I had an idea of retiring my parents when I start working and earn a decent living and comfort and all of those. So if I can attain this in the next seven years, I'll, I'll be on top of the moon. I'll be on top of the moon. So first of first and foremost, complete my PhD, find a job, uh, start my business, uh, grow the business that I'm currently involved in and possibly even start my own and find a job, live comfortably, live comfortably and retire my parents in the process. I think I would have, I would have achieved everything I was set out to do if if that happens and i can start tackling new goals that come within this thing called life you get so hopefully hopefully guys i'm hopeful fingers crossed everything goes according to plan and god is on my side and we can attain this my people you know what i'm saying yeah 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 oh and the questions are from bright bright for me dot brightful dot me sorry brightful dot me so if you wanna also answer these questions or find some some of the questions that you deem interesting you can visit brightful.me and they have a variety of questions that might be helpful especially if you're trying to do introspection because hey these first two questions have the boy wondering why where his life is going what's going on you get so if you think you want to answer these questions also you can hit bright brightful.me and see if you can learn the question right so the third question, the third question is what do you what do you think makes you a good leader? Honestly, I don't know. Honest, honest opinion. I have no idea. I have no idea. From when I was I think in secondary one, that's like grade grade eight, yes. That's like grade eight secondary one yes when i was in secondary one i was elected in the church 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 youth guild I'm like, yes yes we want you to be the chairman 
of our church youth guild. And these are grown men, by the way. These are grown men with beard. You see how I have beard now? I had nothing. The chin was nice and clean like a bum of a small bone, a young bone child. But the boys were like, yo, you know what? We think you can do this. So we want you to be our leader. And I'm like, hey, I have no idea what you guys expect me to do. You know what I'm saying? Even the following year, they were like, oh, now you're vice chair. You know, I'm like, hey, guys, what is going on? You get I then became captain of uh, of the soccer team. Still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm winging it. People are seeing things I do not see in myself. Until today, until today in school, they, you know, hey, we want you in the as the head coach of athletics. Me? To do, I have no idea what athletics is. I, I have never, I have never coached running in my life. And I don't know what what I'm, 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 I'm going to do. And then there's, 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 there's associations. We want you to join ISA as recruitment officer. What the hell is a recruitment officer? Hey, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I really, I really do not know what makes me a good leader. But if I was to guess, right? If I was to guess, I would say, I think it's the good communication with people. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the good communication with people that I have being able to relate with multiple people with different backgrounds and we still manage to connect. I think that that's what makes me a, a, a good leader. And I, I tend to be bossy. I'm a very bossy person, if I might admit that myself. I'm an extremely bossy person. I like bossing people around. So I think that's also another thing that people uh, 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 look out for. And also, I'm a... I'm a people's man, you know, I'm a people's man. I believe in interactions. I believe in seeing gaps, you know, where you see a gap, try and fill the gap. Even if it's not a gap that you can fill, but the fact that you're trying to fill it is what matters, you know, and always be optimistic, always be optimistic. I'm a very lazy guy. I'm a very lazy guy. I saw this. Yes, I saw this. I saw this. This was what uh, Vusi said, you know, this was what Vusi said. He said, every company needs a lazy person. So every company needs a me, you understand? Because lazy people find easier ways to do things. Lazy people find easier ways to do things. So in a situation where you want to be hardworking, I would want to be smart working if that's a thing. You get, I, I would want to do things easily, but also uh, make sure that I'm doing them right, right? I also want to do them right. So I think that's one of the things. I'm always trying to find ways in which we can improve on our, on our current uh, standing in life. For example, every day I have, I have this, um, before I go to sleep, I must go through everything I did that day. For example, today, I, I, I submitted applications for jobs. I, I, I talked to, 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 to my young sister. I went to play football. I, I, I what? I started working on my thesis because, hey, graduation is coming up. That boy needs to be called Dr. Kizo. So that's another thing that I worked on. That's another thing that I worked on. So I think tomorrow now I, I, I improve on those things that I had. I had worked on. Question number four. Do you think money is important? Hell yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing YouTube if I think it wasn't. Yes, yes, yes. I think I'm a strong believer in money. I'm a strong believer in money. There's no power in poverty. Hey, they must, they must stop lying to you guys. They must really, really stop lying to you guys. This thing of money is the root of all evil. Poverty is. Poverty is in, in, in the same way a root of all evil. No one, no hungry person is, 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 is not going to try and fill the stomach. Sometimes filling the stomach, you might do it the right way, you might do it the wrong way, right? You might end up in drugs because the stress of what you're going to eat the following day is kicking you. That's a thing you get. It. Or you might just decide, I'm going to steal. I'm going to steal in every household, including my friend's household. So money is... You might say it's the root of all evil, but poverty is at the same time. Poverty is at the same time 
the root of all evil. But beside that, beside that, right? Beside that, hey guys, money is power. Money is power. Money is power. Think of it like this. Think of it like this. Uh, your basic, right? Your basic family meetings, right? You always have that uncle that you're like, yo, hey, I want to be like him when I grow up. Not because he's not because he's 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 dressed well or he talks nicely or you know just because he has money, just because he has money, you must be like that uncle, you know. And that that same uncle, that same uncle, the meeting doesn't start unless he's there. I wrote a hey, wrote a chantara letter malume malume o chanta fit. How malume answer fit? We don't start. We don't start. We don't start nothing. There's no starting without Malume. Malume o chanta ake. The Range Rover high. Range Rover chante prake mo jarti. The Range Rover must come. The Range Rover must come when you drive in with your Range Rover. Then we're like, we are done. We are done. It's all good. It's all good. The uncle is here. You know. Even when you who, who doesn't have money are trying to, you know, share your input, we don't want to hear that. The, the uncle is speaking, you know, the uncle is speaking. So I want that power. You know, I think money is very important. It's better to cry in a Mercedes Benz than to cry on a bicycle. You understand? When it's hot, you turn on the AC. Hey, when it's hot, you cycle faster, you get even hotter. When it's cold, you turn on the AC. On that bicycle, you are going to freeze until you abandon the bicycle and start walking. Your fingers are going to freeze. Guys, there was a time I rode in the snow. My fingers were literally freezing and I had gloves on. They were frozen. They were frozen. And your stupid me thought it's a good idea to pour hot water on it. That made it worse. If you do not know, don't try this. Hey, skabatela me, skabatela me. I will, I, I, I hot on your hands, guys. That thing is so painful. But yeah, money is important, guys. Money is very important. Money is important. No one lied to you. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. What money is not important? What money is very important. Money is oof, oof. Hey, we wake up every day to go look for that guap. Right now, the BRICS, the BRICS is going on, you know, the BRICS summit, everyone is excited. No one cares about what uh, developments or anything is going on. We just want to know, are we going to make money or not? Is it going to be cheaper? Is it going to be cheaper? Is, is, is life going to improve for the boy? You understand? That's all we want to know. So you see the importance of money. They made Vladimir Putin drive all the way or fly all the way to South Africa. Even the, the great the great leader of China fly all the way to South Africa. You get it. so money guys. Hey, that guap, that guap is very important. I also want to be the next Petrus Motsipe or or, 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 or the what's his name? Dankoti. I also want to be Dankoti, the richest man in Africa. That man possesses power. He possesses power. Right? Uh moving along. Moving along, ladies and gentlemen. To question number five. What makes you the happiest? What makes me the happiest? I would say... Why would I say makes me the happiest? Sorry, sorry, sorry for beeping, guys. Sorry for beeping. I think what makes me the happiest is family, you know? I think my family really makes me happy, guys. I won't lie. And also my G is doing well, you know? I think... Externally, yes, if I can say external things that make me happy, I'll go for family and my friends. You get all my niggas are doing well, my niggas are popping up on TV, my niggas are giving speeches, my niggas are touring the world, my niggas are working, my niggas guys, it's 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 so nice to see my boys doing so well in life, right? Regardless of whether we are keeping contact or not, just the fact that I see that boys are progressing in life. 
it makes me happy you know it makes me so happy that my g's hey guys keep pushing keep the grind going my boys keep the grind going i love to see what uh, what is happening in all my niggas life from primary all the way to university guys y'all are doing good things y'all are good, doing good things people are getting married starting their own families guys it's beautiful to see it's so beautiful to see you get you see your boy hey i just bought a plane i'm going people are catching feelings we are out here catching feelings boys are catching flights that's something to celebrate that's something that i love seeing i love seeing that so much i love seeing my boys at the peak of the, the, the game you know it makes me very happy and also my family guys yo my family makes me it makes me the happiest you know every time i talk to my sister i'm like yeah you already know you already know although half of the conversation is me telling her she's ugly and her telling me i'm ugly you know we have that riley huey relationship with her and if you're watching this yeah you already know i won't say it in public because in public you're the most beautiful girl on this earth know that know that but on the phone call you already know what i'm gonna say but you know it's all love it's all love my my sister my mother my father guys hey they make me so happy they make me so happy and funny enough funny enough <laughs> now true story guys whenever i want a phone call with my dad and it's my birthday it's the most awkward thing ever i don't know whether it's just my dad or it's just dads in general hey when it comes to birthdays they are the most awkward people alive i'm not even gonna lie nigga just comes uh hi no hey happy birthday boy happy birthday hi yeah gone nigga doesn't even wait for me to say hey hi hey hi timer hi that's born yeah that's born get tango hey hey no mm. he said his piece so yeah whatever you have to say after that hey it's none of his business he said what he had came to what he came to say hmm oh what are you oh what are you oh what are you i can't worry it's a happy birthday I can not told you happy birthday. What more do you want? What more do you want? What must the old man do? What must the old man do? They're on pension, man. They're on pension. Feel for the man. He said happy birthday. Why do you want to reply? Hey, stop replying to the old people. The guy said happy birthday. Just eat your happy birthday and keep it moving. It's that simple. Oh. But yeah, that's, that's my dad. And funny enough, I appreciate that so much. Because I know the level of discomfort he's going through you know i know the level of discomfort he's going through to come and be all emotional you know all emotional even now you know hey boy i when are you coming back i hey we we, we, we miss you man we miss you come back like, hey, that we miss you just say i miss you why does it have to come with the come back when are you coming back hmm? we need someone to watch the car it's not the car why are you watching on the car just say you want to see me in the house talk to me the house is pretty lonely your daughter is in university your son is in university that house is boring y'all should be spending quality time and stop saying we must come back home come back to do what do what 10 past 4 in real what but anyway moving on to the last and final question right to the last and final question what's the most oh no second last sorry second last what's the most surprising fact you have learned about yourself what's the most surprising fact i've learned about myself i learned that i can be loving you know i learned that i can spread love i can spread love you know I'm a very impatient person, very, very impatient, you know, and I can spread love in, in different ways, you get. Being a good friend, guys, being a good friend is knowing when to be the bad friend. That's being a good friend, you get. I had this friend, you know, I, I, I realized that I might be having a negative impact on their life. So I decided to move away, you know, limit the communication, 
between me and the person. You get, you know what was this? <laughs> Boy, you can put some thought into this. Hey, you know, and I, 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 I can be a loving person, guys. And complimenting my better half, you know, one, when the nails are new, you know, I notice the new nails, new hair done, you know, when she's feeling kind of down. I notice the little, that's the little things, boys. In. It's the little things, boys. In. It's the little things that matter. So, yeah, attention to detail and that I can be a very loving person. Those are the things that I found very surprising. Me? Love? Boy? What? Hey. We are never the mushy mushy type in the family, but you already know that boy on that mushy mushy vibes now. So yes, 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 yes. That's the surprising thing I learned about myself recently. Recently, recently. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? That's a very good question. I, I I know what my biggest fear is, right? My biggest fear is failure. That I'm afraid of failing. Child, you have no idea how, you know, at, at, at school, I used to sit at the back. You know, I sit at the back with rap, 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 rap. You know, and then exam time, I put all the study. Like I study very hard because I don't want to fail. You know, and this other day, there was this accounting lady. Uh, what was her name? What was her name? Guys, if you remember this and you were in the same high school I was and you remember the accounting lady, please drop her name down below. Drop her name in the comment section. But yeah, that lady, that lady gave me a zero in accounting. And my mother is an accountant and she gave me a zero. There's an egg. She even grew ears. I really, I, to show you how hurt I was by that zero, I still remember what, what the topic of the exam was. It was depreciation. We're doing depreciation. Yeah, guys, sorry, sorry for that small interruption. Hey, the camera decided to run out of battery. But as I was saying, as I was saying, without delaying any of you guys any more further, the topic of that of that particular exam was depreciation. Oh, even better. I even remember I even remembered her name. God bless her soul. She was a good human being nonetheless. I won't lie. She was good people. Her name was Miss Hovey. Best accountant teacher to ever exist still. I believe she was good. I believe she was good. She was a bit strict, but she was good. And she gave me a zero. You know, I'm not good at art, right? I'm not good at art. So when I was getting D's and E's, uh, yeah, fine. That that was good. You know what I'm saying? I, I had no problem with, 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 with that particular subject. You know, I would get, Z, I would get D. My highest grade in, in, in art was even a D, I think, yeah. And with that D, I did part of the work. Most of the work was not even done by me, but it was part of the work that was done by, 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 by me and myself, you know. In terms of art in that direction, I was not very creative, I must say. I was not very creative. And I still remember that I was drawing a house. That was the project I got a D, uh, I got a D in. So in that particular aspect, I was not, I was not all dead, you get. So me failing that, ah, I made peace with it. But accounting, and Miss Wabeko gave me a nice zero. Not even one for maybe like starting the process. Nah, straight zero. And you know with accounting, the thing is, it, it moves down, you know. It's step by step. If you mess it up in the beginning, there's no way you're recovering. It's just downhill from there, you know. Question two is a continuation of question one and question three is a continuation of question one, two, you know. So when, when dog, I still remember that zero, it hurt. You know, it it, 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 it it was painful. It was painful. I tried consoling myself and saying, yo, boys, you're not the only one with this zero in the class. Many people got it. But it, it does not get better, guys. It does not get better. A zero is a zero. And a zero is painful. You know, and she gave me a zero. But God bless her still. I hope she's, she's doing well in her future endeavors. She was good people. She was good people. I was just not one of those students. Until... 
IGCSC until IGCSC because in that IGCSC I nailed it that boy killed it that boy killed it you know what I'm saying but yeah man I, I, I think my biggest fear my biggest fear or what I'm most afraid of is is failure I'm afraid of failure hence I don't like starting new things you know because starting new things means possibi new possibilities of failure Take, take this YouTube channel. I could have started this a long time ago. Maybe by now I'll be raking the, 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 the YouTube money. You get what I'm saying? Or even have uh, 10 billion followers. But the fear, you get the fear. I was afraid of starting this. Even though I have tried it in like other videos where maybe I was doing it for a third party. I, would, I just never had the confidence to start my own thing. You get I never had the confidence to start my own thing because that meant a new possibility for failure. Hence, hey, it's, it's still not sitting well that I'm doing this, but I might just as well do it. You know, even one of my friends, uh, OT, OT, she, he likes, he likes saying this, yo, dog, why are you so afraid? You know, you have, I, hey, my dog, it's not easy. It's not easy, you know, it, it, it definitely is not easy doing, doing this thing, but we gotta do what we gotta do, boys. We gotta do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Say, studying new things means uh, a possibility. You know, even most of my friends be asking, yo, uh, why aren't you doing this shipping thing, this, 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 this selling things at home? It's, it's the possibility of, of, of that not being a success. And if it fails, it fails with me having people's money, me being responsible for people's money. Per se, so I, I I don't exactly fuck with that. I don't I don't oh sorry I don't like that very much. I don't like that very much. So I would prefer uh, starting something that I'm definitely sure I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to succeed in. You get I when I start something I I must reach success. I don't give up until I reach success. You know, come rain come sunshine, I set a goal that yo. I'ma move this from this point, from point A to point B. Come rain, come sunshine, I'll get to point B. You understand? So that element of failure really, really, really frustrates me. It's something that I'm terribly, terribly afraid of. Even in starting new relationships, you know, it's also an avenue that I feel like uh, we don't consider as failure, but it's really failure, you know what I'm saying? Starting a new relationship is another possibility of a failure, you know what I'm saying? Hence, I don't have that many exes. Uh, behind me but you know it's 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 a possibility of failure even hitting on you i i will not i will not shell a girl guys you know i will not shoot my shot unless i know i'm shooting for a headshot after i shoot you are gone you know so i'll, I'll just be there aiming 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 you know adjust the scope measure the wind you know until now i'm sure that dog you are landing this that's why i'll fuck palagata 10 past 4, go, 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 in real, you know, but apart from that, yeah, so my, something that I'm most afraid of is, is, is failure, I am, I am terrified of, of failure, I'm terrified of failing, you know, for me, there's no option like failing, everything must be a success, that's, 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 that's the world I unfortunately operate in, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me wrap it up by saying thank you for tuning in my good people hope to see you on episode 2 if there's anything you'd want me to discuss or there's a question you want to ask me that you'd like me to answer in the next video drop it in the comment section let's get it kicking, let's get it moving any topics that you want me to discuss drop it in the comment section guys and don't forget to like, share and tell your friends too to come and like and share and comment and subscribe and let's grow the family you know what i'm saying the big the more the merrier you know let's make this family a one big happy family thank you so much for tuning in like share comment and subscribe and see you again same time same place next 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 week next week not next 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 week next week i'm gonna be here i'm gonna upload i'm gonna give you nice content hey yo Peace out, my people. Stay loved, stay lovely. I love y'all. I love you. Spread the love. Let's get it.